Hey guys, welcome back. Heading back to Boca. Hi, in March 2018 I made a quick oil change hop over to Aerodiesel in Pampano with Miss Grace. There I saw a beautiful 1973 Piper Cherokee Cruiser 140 sitting there looking for a new home. Its owner could not afford to overhaul the engine and wanted to sell it. I bought it for 9000. Here's the story of bringing this beautiful flyer back to life. So, I'm here with uh, my buddy Chris. How's it going everyone? Aerodiesel. And, uh, you know, we're talking about uh, the project of the nice little Piper uh, Warrior Cherokee uh, Piper 28 that we have here behind us. We're going to do a very nice uh, renovation project, which is basically going to renovate the whole thing, bring it back to life. Um, so we're going to do the engine. We're going to do all kinds of, yeah, the kinds en of things. Yeah, the engine's out for overhaul. We're yeah. going to send the mount out for NDT and inspection. And then the gear's already been gone through. We're going to clean and paint everything. Uh, wheel fairings will be new. We got quite a bit of work on our on our side, so there's a lot to do. Exactly, we're gonna do the entire interior work as well, and eventually the goal is to sell the airplane and um, make a nice little profit after oh, yeah. we fly it a little bit. Right? Oh yeah, oh, definitely yeah. gonna have to put some hours on it. Exactly, definitely. Uh, at least breaking the engine, right? So Chris, thank you again, man. This is awesome. It's gonna be a no lot problem. of fun. This project, can't wait. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. So I'm here with my friend Sanjay from uh, Pichi Brito company. They, they do the interiors here at Okeechobee. And uh, now we just picked some of the interiors. And um, basically what we're gonna do, Sanjay, we're gonna pick this as the beige. As a, as a, the, the beige, beige leather. Leather, right, for the seats. This part is gonna be for the... For the Side wall. Right, and then we're gonna do actually rather for the this one's gonna be like for the top line. part, right? Yes. And this, Color will be for the all this part, the bottom part of the of the trim, right? Yes. And we're gonna use this carpet, which is gonna be for the carpet, and obviously it's gonna go right a little bit along the side here yes. too, right? Yes. Very good. All right, so we're gonna be uh, looking into that in a little bit. The, uh, Sanjay will start this tomorrow, and uh, we'll do some updates, right? Yeah. Uh, awesome. A few weeks, I can finish. A few weeks, we'll have it ready. What's up, buddy? How hey, you doing? All right, we good, got good. a nice little update here on the Piper. So we did a few things, right? We did a bunch of things. A bunch of stuff. Uh, the interior is fully, fully gutted at this point. You were telling me that you actually put all new hardware here for the fuel tank. So you removed the fuel tanks, painted them, and everything. Yeah, we actually removed it, resealed the tank, we sent the uh, gasket, put That's everything back cool. together, coated everything with corrosion block. Put everything back together for new paint. Very good, very good. And we got the prop. The prop came in. The came the shop. in new, yeah. That's awesome. Yep. And we got the, we ordered that piece for the door frame. So that's going to be coming in. And you were able to salvage the yep. flap cover. Small repair, we'll which is nice. We'll never know. Exactly, very nice, very nice. And I uh, just brought in the uh, two rear uh, mm -hmm. windows that are tinted also. Yep. So that's great. All right, so these are the windows. A little bit of a tint, not much, but somewhat. That's gonna be nice. Thicker, nice thick. That's for Sound extra proofing. soundproofing. Mm -hmm. And it came both with um, the tape, ceiling tape, ceiling tape, and, and the adhesive. adhesive itself. And these will go right over here, both sides. Just to give it a nice little life. They were kind of inexpensive too. They were like uh, about ninety bucks each. Not too bad. And uh, the company cuts them right there on the spot and then they uh, ship them. 
We've, uh, we went through and did new linings, painted the wheels, uh, new linings, new discs, repainted the upper half of the strut, put everything back together new. Very cool. Yeah. Yep. Aero diesel, baby. They can do it all. On the interior, the uh, all the uh, Vianic stuff. So we're talking that we're trying to salvage the uh, audio panel, and then um, this the GNS 430 from the Cirrus is gonna go in here, and this one's gonna move in this spot right there. Yeah. So we're gonna get rid of this guy, the old Com2. This is gonna be removed. What are we gonna put here, Chris? This is gonna be a just blank a panel. blank panel, right? Yeah. That's about it. So we're also gonna change the transponder. We're gonna go with the ADSB um, uh, transponder. That's what we're gonna get here. It's about three grand, and it provides both ADSB and WAS, which is awesome. And, and we're not gonna change any of the panel. We're just gonna leave it exactly the way it is. Nice and vintage. Like it. This is your new door. The door, plastic trim. Door trim. Yeah. Very cool. So this will be fit and trimmed and painted to match whatever it is that you choose chose for the interior. Yeah. Very yes. nice. Is this uh, the light? This is the landing light from the cowling, yep. Oh, cool. So that is, so is that an LED, LED, LED yep. already? Oh, that's LED neat. That already. That's neat, yeah. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Moving along. What's going on, Chris? What are we doing today? Well, we're just prepping, prepping for two new windows. Very and cool. What we're doing is dry fit, and then we'll seal them in. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, we began prepping the engine mount for paint. All the engine hoses and everything's been stripped off. Very cool. Uh, we'll be getting new hoses, pre-made, ducts. Everything's gonna go back together new. Um, firewall be cleaned up and painted. It's gonna look like a new airplane. No Cherokee right now with all this new, <laughs> like this is. Oh wow. Look See, we that. got the new trim barrel in, no play. And they went through and they repainted all of this. That's beautiful. everything. Very nice. So just a nice clean job, you know? Very nice work. Very cool. Yep. So Chris, you wanna tell us a little bit about what's going on today? Um, well we went through and repainted and cleaned and the firewall and the engine frame also the mount, which is included with the landing gear strap. Um, did a nice silver just to contrast the new engine. We painted all the baffles yep. to match. We also painted and cleaned all the inside of the cowlings so everything looks nice. New, that's our main thing that we're looking for. We got the new windows put in on the rear. Uh, new ELT is mounted for the 406. Uh, we should have the engine back next week and we'll proceed on. the engine home, we got all the baffles back on, new seal, we're uh, right now working on the wiring, wiring it back up, we got all new engine hoses, um, I ordered some new scat hose, everything's going back together, very nice. It looks great. Yep. It looks beautiful. We had to order a new alternator, so I'm waiting on that to show up, yeah. and um, hopefully we might be able to crank it up by Friday. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Sanjay, what's up buddy? And uh, he's installing the interior, as you can see. So, you know, we're uh, just working hard and uh, it's almost done. So we have a little bit, how many, uh, how much more work we have to do uh, work to clear? About another day? Yeah. Another day and it's going to be done with uh, all the seats. And uh, we also ordered uh, new seat belts, right? Yeah, we needed new seat belts because those old reels were not good, were all corroded. So that's going to cost another $1,174. But it's an airworthy item, so we need it, right? Yeah. What's up, buddy? Good, good. Muy bien, muy bien. Everything good. Muy bien. All right, let's get it started. Clear!
so the interior is ready for the little piper. Look at that, how pretty is that? That is so neat. It looks very nice. So we still have to put the uh, GNS 430 in there for the uh, nav, and then just do some a couple of adjustments. And but it, this airplane is pretty much ready to go. And uh, that's about it. She looks so pretty. New seat belts too. Nice, clean. This is great. Door panels, everything. What do you think, Chris? I think it looks awesome. Yeah? Yep. It's good stuff, right? Top of the line work. Oh, yeah. This is really nice. Great job. Guess where I'm going? It's a good day today. I'm going to pick up the Piper. With my buddy Alex, one of the principals of Aero Diesel, he's actually going to fly it for me because I'm not authorized to fly it. I need one hour instruction time. That's my insurance company says. So, uh, while I'm waiting for the instructor to empty his schedule and um, fly it with me, I'm going to have Alex fly it with me uh, next, uh, you know, from Pampano over to Boca. And then we're going to tie it down at Atlantic Aviation for a few days until it gets sold. So, stay tuned. The flight coming up soon. All right, we're here at the Aero Diesel with the boys and we're picking up the Piper Warrior. 40718. I'll be flying with Alex in a little bit and we'll be uh, doing a few maneuvers and then ending up in uh, Boca to go and tie down for um, some time until it gets sold. From there we're going to be flying in a little bit so look for those videos as well. And it'll be a lot of fun. It's a fun little airplane. My man! How you doing Pick Nico? Up day. <laughs> That's, That's right. That's awesome. Finally finished. Finally finished. Finally finished. Come here. Group <laughs> hug. <laughs> <laughs> we got it done. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna go out there, fly a little bit. I, sure. my insurance company doesn't allow me to fly it until I get my one hour uh, uh, instruction time. So Alex is gonna be the man. That should be so no problem. We'll fly it out, then we'll go park in uh, Boca, and then sure, I'll give you a ride back. Sounds good to me. You have a choice of a Tesla or a Cirrus. It's up to you. Oh, a Cirrus. <laughs> we'll take a Cirrus. <laughs> All right. See you guys in the air. Here, pal. Yeah. Right. Airport information whiskey one seven five zero zero. Weather when one six zero one one. Visibility one zero. Ceiling at nine thousand five hundred broken. Temperature two eight two point two four. Altimeter two nine or nine or eight. Okay, okay we got a whiskey. Brakes are good. My brakes are working. We're good. Yep. Okay, Pumpin' on ground. Cherokee 40718. Cherokee 40718. Yes, so we got information. Whiskey, we're currently at spot 5. We'd like to taxi to the active uh, for a uh, northwest departure for 40718. 4718, runway 10. Taxi via Mike Lima. Cross runway 6. Via Mike Lima and work later across runway 6 for 40718. All right, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, taxi, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. We got all that good. I mean, we want to go into our run up, basically. Yep. Yep, so throttle will be 1000 RPM, area clear, uh, brake set, fuel selector, fullest tank. We may want to switch to our left side. Right, yep. We got a good fuel pressure. Yeah, uh, yeah, alternator load check. We're going to have to check that throttle 2000 RPM for our run up. Yep. We're going to have to check the vacuum. Yep. All There's right. a suction right here. Yep. All right, let's uh, bring it up a little bit here. Yeah, run up check and go up to 2,000 RPM. We're on the green on the old time. That's good. Fuel pressure, we're good. All the pressure, good. All right, 2,000 RPM. We're a fixed pitch, so there's no prop cycling. Nope. We're going to check mag. Yep, and, and the uh, gyro section is working. Okay. Left. Back to both, and we are good to go, back to 1000. And basically, let's do our takeoff brief briefing, go ahead. Okay, so we're going to take off, rotation speed, calls for 64, we'll keep it at 65, 67. We got two big boys in the airplane. Uh, we're going to take off, if we have a loss of engine power, depending on the segment of flight, 
We will try to turn back. If not, we got to land straight ahead. Look for a clearing. We'll keep our best glide, which is 80. Okay. Perfect. We have the 80 beach, knots. And we're going to always come back and land here. That's right. All right. Beautiful. We're going to fly in, uh, northwest and do some maneuvers and then come back, uh, go back to Boca and yep. park there. That's right. Very good. Uh, we can go ahead and put Pahokee on here. Uh, Papa Hotel Kilo. Could be a 310 heading, a 300 heading. Alright, just uh, go direct. Good. And Papa Hotel Tower, Cherokee 40718 ready for takeoff. Runway 10. Tower 40718, Papa Hotel Tower, runway 10. Use caution for the Cessna. It looks like he's turning right there in front of you. Uh, yeah, we got that. Let me know if you're going to be able to get to the runway. Yeah, we should be able to scoop by for uh, 40718. Okay, 718, then uh, thank you very much. Runway 10, clear for takeoff, the wind 16011. 10, clear for takeoff for 40718. All right. With check, please. Doors closed. 16011. Uh, okay. um, we'll go. Loop coming on. There we go. Let's give it one notch of flaps. That's one notch. That's one notch. Let's check again. Oh. Yep. Hold up. Yep. All right. Perfect. One notch. Very good. Okay. Boost pumps on. Mixture's rigged. We're good to go. Lights are on. All right. Papa No Tower, helicopter 19 or uniform. Papa, request the option. Okay, RPM coming uniform. up. Fuel pressure coming up. Clear for the option. And uh, wind All right. Full power. And your airspeed is alive. You see how it wants to already take off? Oh yeah. Right uh, before you hit 64. Alright, 70. Look at the airspeed. It flies beautiful. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're uh, climbing at about 500 feet a minute, about 80. And that's all miles per hour here. Yep. Yeah, about 500 feet. We can uh, turn off the fuel pump. Okay. Yep. Fuel pressure still in the green. And it is. So while we're uh, having fun here, climb out. Tell us a little bit about uh, your flying uh, history, Alex. My flying history? Well, I'm... And, uh, and by the way, I should introduce properly Alex. He's actually one of the principals of Aerodiesel. Uh, lots of expertise here. So, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I uh, I'm second generation uh, aviator. I had uh, the luck of having my father being a an airline pilot, and back in his day, he he mainly flew the older birds, the Connie Constellations, the uh, DC-7, C-46s, and uh, the way he started is he basically uh, bought a B-25 and got most of his, his free and flying meat in the Bombay doors in the B-25 bomber, which was my first wow. uh, airplane ride. No way. In the B-25, yeah. That's crazy. And uh, I got the bug. I went to school, and um, on the same day I took my commercial uh, multi-engine ride, I was already flying uh, the Convair uh, 440 that same afternoon. So most of my experience uh, comes in with the older airplanes. I was one of the youngest captains uh, on the Convair 440s. And I've flown a lot of uh, executive airplanes and, you know, Navajos, and light jet stuff once in a while. But mainly aer aerodiesel is, uh, is on the forefront for us. Yeah. We're trying to get into the uh, diesel technology, uh, twin-powered uh, diesel engines for the twin-powered airplanes. I'll let you put your hands on the controls there a little bit. Yeah, I'll, my controls. Yeah. All right, your airplane. My airplane. Yeah, we're north of the practice area over here. Okay. Yeah, we can just do some turns. Sure. Clear left. Clear left. All right, we'll clear right. Okay. Oh, you know what? Look what we have here. Oh, didn't close right. Uh-huh. Well, didn't close at all, actually. Yeah. All right. I'd say it was a, it's a little bit quieter now. That is much quieter. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It, oh. must have, it must have, when you last it, it was just probably right on the tip of the latch, and then it just popped off. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. even aware of the, yeah, that. 
latest information, Kilo issued at 1747 Zulu. The wind 17010. Visibility 10. Sky conditions scattered 1800. Pocket Tower, good afternoon, Cirrus. Uh, I'm sorry, good afternoon. <laughs> Piper November 40718 uh, is uh, 12 miles west of the field, uh, 1,800 bound uh, with kilo. Full stop. This is Booker, Tone Tower, report a midfield right downwind, runway 23. We'll report on a midfield uh, right downwind, runway 23, 40718. Alright, we're at 1,100 feet. I broke field side side. Watch my speed on the left side because I cannot see it very clearly from where I'm standing. I got it. You're doing uh, 110 right now. Yeah, I'm good with that, but when we get in the pattern, I may get a little slow sure. because I don't understand the, its power settings very well. No problem. I got you back, my friend. Yeah, I'll try to land it. I'll start slowing down a little bit. Try to get a feel of that trim. We're at 100 knots, right? 100 yep. miles. No, you're 90. 90. 90. Yep. She needs power. Uh huh. And you're gonna notice when you add the first notch of flaps, how, how much she stops. Oh uh, yeah, I can, I yep. can uh, already gonna imagine. Yep. Number four zero seven one eight. Uh, as you get closer, join the downwind for runway two three. You can plan on following a citation jet that is uh, about to turn to find approach course out by the shoreline. Not a problem, we'll be uh, turning uh, downwind and uh, we'll be looking for the citation jet uh, 718. Alright, let's turn downwind right now. Give ourselves a little bit of room okay. for those uh, long wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is it, I got traffic. Straight ahead, you see him by the clouds, look on the clouds. Yep, there. yep, got him right there. Number 718, let me know when you have that citation in sight. Citation in sight, uh, 718. No, 718, follow that citation. Just give me a little room, though. I do have one jet departure to get out. Runway 23, Causeway Turbulence cleared to land. Not a problem. We'll give them a uh, little room and uh, clear to land. Uh, runway 23, 718. All right, we'll start descending now. Yep. There you go. Our no, final, we're clear. Nobody, uh, here. nobody else around. Uh, 300 feet per minute. Alright, All right, why don't you right. take over because I'm oh, getting okay. a lot of comfortable with that. I got it. Alright, your plane. Your airplane. Your airplane. Okay, so we're at 85. We got one from the left. Add a little power here now. We got two jet, one jet just landed and one took off. Alright, All right, we're at full. Full of laps. That a crosswind too. Yep. Number zero Alpha Tango, nice you job, can dude. Uh, proceed to the point you need to be at. Just report on station. Traffic on a uh, three quarter mile final is a Cessna. Who's pump coming off? All right. Landing light off. And carp you would need to have it on. Turn right oh. and where are you parking? Where are we parking? We're going down to Atlantic uh, 718. 718, turn right, don't stop, make sure you cross the whole short mark and uh, taxi Atlantic via Papa this freak. Right, Atlantic uh, via Papa this frequency, uh, 718. Good job, buddy. Thank you. You know how to fly an airplane. I try to once in a while. <laughs> Ignition. Hey, right. master. Master, we're good. Awesome. Good job, buddy. Nice good job, job. Man. Good job. Yeah.
you can step on the whole thing. When I come back here, you can step on something with here. So in the history of America, how can you not step here? But you can step here. It's on the same thing. <laughs> okay, let me let me show you an example. <sighs> Okay, so if I come up here with you guys, which I've never seen before, you cannot step on here. I can step on here. Hmm. You see the difference? There is no difference. It's on the same page. 